for you. Hello, I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's, Dante's. Boxing Nation. <laughs> <laughs> I think I messed that up. Can we do Wait, it again? Should we do it again? Yeah, we can do I supposed it. to Don't say the Dante? Yeah, Dante's Boxing Nation. We'll say it together. Yeah, she said, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Okay. Got it. All the kisses, all right? Cool. All right. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. That was good. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So let me go ahead and just jump right into this one. You know, I have to say, it is extremely annoying to me how disingenuous of a person Ryan Garcia is when it comes to him hanging out with people like Floyd Mayweather. But yet Ryan Garcia is the same person that is always using old media talking points to diss black fighters. After Devin Haney put on the best performance of his career against Regis Progray, Ryan Garcia congratulated him, but yet he was the only person who called Devin Haney's performance boring. Code words that race fans use only towards black boxers, by the way. You never hear them ever call someone who's not black boring. For example, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, the first fight. Tyson Fury versus Vladimir Klitschko. Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisora, the first two fights. Race fans didn't call those performances boring, but they will call Floyd Mayweather boring. Speaking of Floyd Mayweather, if Ryan Garcia will call Devin Haney boring in his best performance, you know he was calling Floyd Mayweather boring as well because that's what all the race fans were calling Floyd Mayweather at the time. You know something else the race fans said about Floyd Mayweather? After fans kept pushing so hard for a Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao fight, soon as Mayweather completely dominated Manny Pacquiao, race fans came out and said that Manny Pacquiao still has a greater legacy than Floyd Mayweather. Do you know who else sided with those fans? Ryan Garcia. That's right. Ryan Garcia would come out and say that Manny Pacquiao has a better legacy than Floyd Mayweather does after Floyd Mayweather completely dominated him. You know, after Ryan Garcia hung out with Floyd Mayweather, went out running with Floyd and everything else, he posted some statement on the internet praising Floyd Mayweather for how good of a person he is. And, you know, people who don't really know him, they just don't know how good of a person he is. That was pretty much the summary of the statement. But a statement like that would have came off far more sincere if Ryan had said that back when Floyd Mayweather was the most hated man in the sport of boxing. But going back to who has the better legacy out of Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, it's such a ridiculous argument because we all know if the roles were reversed and Floyd Mayweather had been knocked out cold by Juan Manuel Marquez, fought Marquez four times and struggled in every single fight, then got knocked out cold, while Pacquiao fights Marquez one time, beats him easy. Then Pacquiao fights Floyd Mayweather and completely dominates Floyd Mayweather. Now, on top of all of that, let's now picture Floyd Mayweather also losing to Jeff Horn. So once again, if you do a little bit of a swap and you give Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao's record, that would mean that Floyd Mayweather had been knocked out three times. He lost to Manny Pacquiao. He lost to Jeff Horn. He lost to Dennis Ugas. He struggled against Juan Marquez four times and then end up getting knocked out by Marquez. We know there would be no one saying that Floyd Mayweather has a better legacy than Manny Pacquiao. That's without a doubt. Even these race fans know that what I just said logically makes too much sense. Them saying Manny Pacquiao still has a better legacy is their way of saying, I don't care if Floyd Mayweather won or not. I still don't like him. That's pretty much what they're saying. I mean, Mike Tyson, he hates Floyd Mayweather's guts. And he even picked Manny Pacquiao to beat Floyd Mayweather. And even he praised Floyd Mayweather after he seen what Floyd Mayweather did to Manny Pacquiao. At the end of the day, Ryan Garcia is very lucky that Floyd Mayweather is black, so he doesn't care what these non-black boxers say about him personally. Because if he did, he wouldn't even allow Ryan Garcia to hang out with him. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com.
Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Dekey Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to lodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.